Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Sun Cell campaign. This is episode 10. We pick it up from turn 48 in the winter season of 203. So we ended last episode uh, by taking down the farmland of Jiangxia. Uh, it's a level 5 farmland, I just realized that. Uh, but we have an army uh, controlled by Jiling, uh, which is Yuan Shu's general. And we have two more turns, I believe, on the peace deal we signed. Uh, well, we signed it basically eight turns ago, and you need to wait ten turns to uh, break the deal to not incur any uh, untrustworthiness. So we're going to be waiting for that. Uh, we'll keep an eye on where his army is going to go. We'll probably track it a little bit with this army. This army could also use about two turns to heal up because uh, we did delegate that fight. And we'll look to destroy Yuan Shu's force. Uh, they have three more counties left from what I see, and then we'll be in contact with Cao Cao to the south and also Lü Bu and Liu Bei a little bit. Uh, Liu Bei owns Runan, which is a little... Uh, you know, I'm not happy about that just because we will have access to the iron mine but not the settlement. So maybe he'll develop for us a little bit. We can trade it with him perhaps uh, for some territory. Uh, we'll see how that develops. Elsewhere, uh, the main focus of this episode is actually the big showdown with Liu Bei's force. So although we could attack them this turn, uh, we are in range and we have enough movement with our main army. I'm going to give them an extra turn to actually replenish uh, to greater strength. And also give them a turn so the general all have max resiliency. And our biggest goal is to summon a bunch of generals. So right now we have, uh, let's see, 9 generals over here. We're going to have 12 generals fight in this fight. The main goal is to have enough patience officers so that we guarantee capture on Gan Ning and Huang Zhong because we're trying to recruit them into our faction. And to facilitate that, we might actually want to plan out ahead. So Zhang Lao is going to come out, he has patience, and Lu Meng is going to come out, he has patience. And the person who will carry them into battle... Hmm... I don't think Lu Su actually have patience unlocked, so he's not useful. We could just use Han Dang this turn because he actually has reach, so he can help that army move. Summon him a turn early so that he have full movement. Uh, we could also just use him for the movement trick, but it's probably better this way. Uh, we're not recruiting Yuan Tan, we're letting him be because uh, I, I believe there's a chance he could be a spy, which is why we kind of ignored him, right? Because he is coming from uh, a known faction. So that's pretty much it. We don't have enough money to build much. Uh, I'm going to save up here. I'm going to stay away from conscription and go for the state workshop for corruption reduction as our empire is growing quite a bit. And that's about it. So let's go next turn. Get ready for that fight in the spring. Oh, just as we are running out of opponents, Liu Zhang declare war on us. That's out of the blue, actually. Okay. And Shi Yi dies. Interesting. Ooh, Zhang Ji joins that coalition. That's a reason for us to attack them. Okay, the Western coalition, they're banding together. Okay. Two female commanders. We also need two female sentinels. Um, they are... Some of you who has uh, requested, in a sense, for us to marry off Sun Quan to potentially Lu Ji. Uh, it's a good advice, but the character who Sun Quan is historically married to, uh, Bu Lan Shan, is actually in the game. She just spawns a little later, so we'll wait for her uh, to show up. Hmm. Chen Gong. Actually, yeah, why don't you also lock down the enemy ability? That way we have you... You know, analyze weakness, you can do that on the enemy as well. So what's going on right now is that Zhang Lu, Zhang Ji, uh, this is uh, Liu Zhang, and also in Ba, there's Hu Mao. They're, they're forming a coalition, and only one party is attacking us, I believe, and we don't even see them on the map, right? That's still High Empire. That's not actually Liu Zhang's territory. Um, so they're going to probably either sail down the river to attack us, or they can launch a really long land attack. Either way, we don't have to worry about them right away. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with them later. Uh, as for female sentinel officers, we only have her right now. 
uh, that can potentially help us reach rank 4, which will help us complete that quest, Lady Swin's Guard. It's not that big of a bonus, so it's fine. It's not the biggest deal. Uh, we're pretty much wrapping things up. We're waiting for Lady Swin to uh, come of age, so we can rank her up. And then Grandmaster just means we have to have really high statted officers. That would just happen as we level them up with shared expertise and pick up new abilities. And then this will happen when we start marching north. So we're looking to finish all the Legacy of Wu quest. So Ziling did run back, it seems. Uh, he's right here. Kongrong? What are they doing here? They're like all over my territory, but I think we do have military access because we did sell it to them, so I really shouldn't complain. Alright, so a few things before we do battle, which might not happen because they have escaped, they seem. They ran away. We have a reform to pick up. We got the tier 4 state workshop buildings. The tier 5 need us to go this way. Uh, tier 4 in is up for grab, which I think is something we should probably get right away. Although we do have a level 2 temple this turn. Right, so for that sake, we should get this, because the level 2 temple unlocks this building. And with that taken, we can actually get rid of the level 2 temple here. And over here, we should build a private workshop. So they are gone. Let's scout with Handang. Where did they go? Wow. It better not be an ambush. Like logically, do they own that as well? Oh, they might have ran north. Okay, this is our main siege party, so we're gonna send them in first. Ah, uh, he ran north. Okay, that ruins the fun. Uh, it'll take us another turn to chase them down. They have Chen Royal Guards? Han Fu? Wait, this is a bug. I mean, he's he's the um, uh, administrator here. I don't know why he doesn't have a image displayed. Like, he's not Yellow Turban. He's a Han General. I also don't know why he has Liu Chong's army. Okay, we'll, we'll continue siege. No rush. Okay, we'll get them next turn. They just took that. They delegated the fight. That's why Huang Zhong is injured. So whoever had control of that, they just beat them. Well, it's just going to be a party over here. Alright, we can actually get rid of Handel in this case. We don't actually need his reach. And he doesn't get along with Lu Meng, so. Back to the court you go. I mean, yeah, this is just going to be a delegate fight. We, we're probably going to capture Han Fu and find out what's wrong with him. Also, I don't remember Hanfu being a champion. That might be what's wrong with him. Uh, being a commander. I think he's supposed to be a champion. That's that, that's probably why he's bugged right here. The armor's not equipped on him because he's the wrong class. Must be something new with the patch 1.5.2. Just have to report it. Alright, we'll delegate this fight here. Because absolutely going to win this here. Alright. It's more lost than I wanted to, but it does save some time. Yeah, I think he's definitely bugged out. I mean, to spare his non-existential crisis, we'll execute him. It's a shame, though. The Chen Royal Guards. But he only has one of them. It's fine. Alright, Nanyang captured. It's a large city. Which is a little bit of a waste. Let's downgrade. 
We'll go with Corruption Reduction. He has the Gentleman's Lodge version, um, which we could convert to the T. There's only one build slot, so let's convert first. We'll get rid of the school. And we will refresh our council. Build a tax collection. We can easily do that. Upgrade settlement. Forge alliance with Wuzing. I would like to do that, except for he's someone's vassal right now. Alright, Poyang weapon. That's easy. Poyang RMI. Okay. Uh, Li Jue is going to be a very busy boy back at home. Alright, everyone kind of reposition themselves. I don't know if they have night battle or not. They might. Huangzhong might. Not sure. But just to be safe, we'll put the generals behind the city. Okay. We'll chase after them. See where they go. Um, as for those missions we got, let's finish a couple really easy ones. As in, walk to the RMI. And then race over to uh, the weapon craftsman. <laughs> He'll get there soon. Um, actually, he can march too. He's just here for, you know, rebel duties. Don't. Oh. Alright, let's get this corruption reduction going. Preferably a settlement upgrade, but we're kind of short on cash, so we're going to wait on that. Food multiplier. Mm, go with this. Yes, this upgrade's most essential because that gives the adjacency bonus. All right, and then we're out of cash. Yep, uh, too much, ar too many armies on the field, uh, and they need to be generating our uh, money by fighting since we don't have any opponents. Let's go through some of these that are need to be demolished a little bit. Building coming down. Yeah, that's fine. These are all okay. Yeah, I think the builds are okay. This one we can't convert because we don't have the reform. I'm just going to gamble that we're not going to get attacked anytime soon. From this direction. And then we'll send one army through Shangyong. And then we'll get into contact with the Shu region here. Alright. Let's check for spies, turncoats. Oh, Zhu Zhi. Hmm. So he was a friend historically. We should look to turn him. We need some cash to do that. Well, no rush. Yuan Shu and us are still friends on paper. And we are still a little far from king. We can, however, uh, level someone up. I think it's going to be Da Qiao. Because then we can get this bonus to the next level. Or we can gun for a level, uh, level 8 effect. And then Zhou Yu can level up as well. Oh, this one's oh, this one's nice. Let's do this. Probably wasn't enough experience, but he will get there eventually. Yeah, still need um, 15k. Oh, still probably need another shared expertise on him. Mm, we need more items. All right, that's it. We'll chase them again, see if they uh, come attack us, and then we can probably declare war on them soon. Uh, we can fight in Liu Bei's territory because we also have military access work both ways. So let's continue. All right, new turn. Peace deal with yellow turbans. But this is not the war against us. So they're not only fighting us, they're also fighting Shi, Shi Yi and Shi Huang, Shi Wu's old faction. And also, okay, so basically the Shi family and the Liu family are going to war. And in the north, Zhang Lu is fighting. Okay, wow. It's a mess over there. Settlement upgrade. Bonus taken care of. I see another interesting armor here. Shi Yuan. Probably belongs to the Shi family. Another silver. Silver, thick hide. Um, We don't need that. We have two gold com um, authority armors already. We refused his, so I think the same thing applies to her. Even though she's certainly not a spy. 
Oh, she's also from uh, Yuan Shao's faction. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to look for where he is, but the river kind of block us here, so we might just go straight for the city. Let's see. He has no trade partners. He's at war with a bunch of people, but he's friends with Cao Cao. Great. Alright, who's going to help him? No one. Does he have anyone? He doesn't have any vassals. What's he talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know whose help he was looking for. Cao Cao's ready helping him. You know, he's ready at war with us. He's continued to be running away here. I mean, I understand this army is scary, but... We would really like to catch him. He doesn't own anything else over here, though. Mm. Where did he go? We'll still go together. Who owns yellow turbans on Luoyang? Don't tell me that. Another party. Yellow turbans on Luoya. Okay, we can retake it from them. He is just running away. I'll march. Okay. What if we ambushed everyone except for that one army? So they might foolishly run back into us. That's our hope. Also, the Emperor's within our grasp. Hmm. We could maneuver through Luoyang. I don't know if I want the Emperor. That's the thing. Cao Cao is in such a bad position in this game because he has the Emperor. Everyone attacked the High Empire. That's why he has no friends. That's why he's stuck allying himself with Yuan Shu. And also because Li Bu and Liu Bei made peace and then attacking them. Which is an interesting situation in itself. Um, we do have a bit of money and we are looking to spend it. So this is one of those commanders where finally over a million population. So we have two builds. This is fine. Corruption reduction. Yeah, still would like to upgrade that. I'm going to start focusing just on corruption reduction for now with our limited fund. And then once we get those out of the way, we'll build the rest. All right, so here we want a inbuilding in the future and a marketplace. And we can actually tear down another building to get the marketplace going. All right, and once again, we're out of cash. Um, also out of cash for these, but just want to see if there's anyone new pop up. All right, let's go to war with Yuan Shu then. And we'll get some more money after that. Uh, by after we take his city here. We know his main army's over there. Uh, yeah, we'll save ourselves some time here. Alright, 
All right, so his capital's right there. This is level three. It's should be okay. I don't think they also. I don't also don't think they have forces coming at us. All right, this is the wrong build here. Um, I mean, their build's not bad. They're going for the commerce element here, and then the peasantry element here. Should probably swap that one, and then land development this. Get rid of that. Oh, it's a level four. It's actually a good high level building. And it's also population over a million. Okay, we'll, we'll switch the build around to our favor. We have 600 gold. Can't do anything. So that's about it. Hopefully the ambush will convince them to come back. Let's see. Let's con oh, actually, can we? No, we can't ambush this party. They have no movement. All right, they'll just sit there and heal then. Oh, Yang Feng broke the treaty with us. The one where he paid us. That's so silly of him because... That means we can actually attack him without any repercussions as he holds the trade port here and probably some territories here and we can try to get our hands on Xu Huang who is serving under his faction. So, love this. Alright, new turn. Yuan Shao and Yang Feng getting close. Zhu Hu signed a peace deal with Liu Biao and Yang Feng joined the military alliance. Okay, seeking some protection from our wrath. That's not dumb. We underestimated him. We're more likely to go after him because I'm more interested in his weapon craftsman. Oh, another daughter. Da Qiao and Sun Ce. Why is Xiao Qiao not, you know, where's the kids? They got married at the same time. Okay. All right, we're, we're ahead by two kids right now. Two girls. Waiting for, I mean, even if we can't see him on the family tree, Zhou Yu's kids will still be announced. Now, speaking of family trees, I'm kind of curious to see how everyone's developed real quick. So Cao Cao stayed busy. He starts out with four kids and he gave birth to three more. Oh, they named one after the mom, Cao Bian. That's cute. Um, we ended his life. The daughter is married to Wu Jing. Wait, that makes her... Wait, did she get married to Wu Jing personally, or did he get married to someone in Wu Jing's faction? Wait, it's not on his tree. Oh, maybe it's not marriage. Maybe she just left and joined. Because he doesn't have any... I don't see the, the girl joined here. I was like, she became our aunt then. That would be really weird. Then Yuan Shu would be our grand uncle-ish? Weird? Yeah. That's a mess. Well, he he lost his daughter to another faction. At least he has two younger kids, a five-year-old boy. Ah, uh, he's gonna grow up without a dad, though. Wow. Gao Gan, who's Yuan Shao's nephew, died. But he had... Why is he so much older than dad? Oh, he died when he's 28. Doesn't mean he's... Yeah, doesn't mean he was, um... He was young. But he died during this campaign. He must be adopted. That's my guess. See, that's a, that's a normal looking family here. Wow, Gong Sun Zan. Busy boy. Adopting and also having kids. And then his kid. Wow. Oh, Lu Ji got married to Gong Sun Zi Mao. Okay. He has the biggest and most interesting tree so far. Hu Mao is the one who declared who not didn't, didn't declare war on us yet, but ooh, he took Gao Shun in. He joined the coalition with um Liu Zhang out west. Luo Tong. Why is he Right, like he's an underage boy, right? So he must be his kid. But he has a different for, um, first name, which makes me feel like he married a pregnant wife and she carried the baby from someone else. Oh man, Coron, poor guy. We're, we're, uh, we can't see her history. We haven't seen her on the map yet. I want to know what faction she came from. It'd be funny if it's Luo Jun's wife. But I don't think Luo Jun was married because we got him through marriage. So that was not possible. Uh, Li Jue, Li Ying. Now we have the brother. He's safe with us. Liu Bei. She's adopted. 
Okay, four kids. Okay. Xu Chu is in Zhang Yan's faction right now by the flag, but was adopted by Shi Wu's faction. Cao Cao lost him somehow. Oh, guys, looking at this tree just reminds me of our last campaign, or last two campaign, where we turn coded her to murder him, and then he took over. Ooh. Wait. Zheng Jiang's. Oh, that's because Zheng Jiang's husband joined Lu Bu's faction, not because Zheng Jiang is in Lu Bu's faction. It just means she lost her husband, and her husband's in his faction. And all the kids are in his faction. Oh, Zheng, Zheng Jiang is a busy woman. Wow. Oh, Ma Chao is still single? Tempting. Yeah, we already seen his. He has no faction right now. He's in the recruitment pool. Zanba. Zanba adopted Zheng Jiang's husband? Or she married Zanba's adopted son? Alright, everyone else is normal at least. Okay, got a good idea. At least we saw Xu Chu. We know he is. He's down south. So we're moving him to... We already got the mission pop-up. Uh, he can go back to guard the city now. And elsewhere, we have a level up. Lu Fan, rank 5. Gonna go for fire arrows over here. And let's see if Liu Bao's army actually ran away or not. No. But Lu Bu took Luoyang. The yellow turbans are moving through our territory. Liu Bao is going this way. He might loop back. I mean, we're at war with Cao Cao. We can definitely assault the capital with this army. We're just leaving our, you know, rear a little exposed. But I think that's fine. He was last seen here. I'm actually not really interested in getting the Emperor. You know, the second you get the Emperor, you have to take care of the Emperor. Wait, Gaoshun's still under Lu Bu. But he was adopted by another household. Interesting. Alright, he's still on the run. We actually can catch him. We can lock him in place. We can't actually catch him. Because he will retreat the second we get to him. So, hold him. Oh, things could get spicy if he comes to save him. What level is the strategist? We don't know. Well, there's three generals who could throw a night battle to us. That's not good. We could also... Can we force him into a fight? That's what I'm trying to think. Because we can attack. He will run. Alright, let's get everyone close first. We'll cut them off from back here. And we'll have them assault. And they will run. But, uh, th yeah. Alright, so now we can actually catch them. Alright, we can get this fight then. That worked. Uh, we can get this fight on our own terms. 
Which army do we want to start the battle off with him? Probably this army, just because it's healthiest. And that everyone else can reinforce. Alright, we need to march this army a little bit. Just the river situation. Alright, we got the reinforcements set up. We'll have this army reinforce and just use the cavalry portion of it. And this army will lead the attack. I don't know if they're actually... Hold on. Maybe backspace trick again. That makes sure they're in the reinforcement range. Alright, we finally got the fight we were looking for this whole episode. We have run them down. Uh, they're not going to put up much of a fight because the retinue is pretty broken down. But we're hoping to capture generals here. So let's... Fingers crossed, let's get this done. Alright, we're loaded up in here. Uh, our reinforcement are coming from two different directions. I think this is the main army one, and this is just a couple generals. This is Zhou Tai's group. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull back. Uh, there's no rush for the fight. We need to get all our generals to show up on the battlefield first. Because the requirement for patience is when present. So they need to be present on the battlefield. Um... So we'll give a little space, let them have a little runway into us. You can actually angle it a little bit. Whoa. That was weird. Alright. And we're going to do... Oh, we might not actually do shield wall now. That extra 15% actually really messes things up. Because before the 15% range block chance, if we do shield wall, we're at 95. And the enemy archers will shoot us. If we do shield wall now, we're going to be at 110, and then the enemy archers just ignores us and shoot the unit behind us, which is not what we want. Mm. So we might just just set them up as standard. We'll have one cover the flanks a little. All right, cavalry. We'll hold them in reserve. We don't really need them. They're too overpowered for us. Um, these will just help buff the generals a little bit and also protect our cavalry from enemy archer fire in the beginning. We will set these up. Uh, they're probably going to come through this way. And I don't know which way the cavalry is coming, but we're just going to put them right there. I'm going to put the fire right there. All right, so the battle restrictions for generals works like this. There can be only 42 unit cards on a map at a given time, including generals. Each general is a unit card. So uh, if we go over that, you have to have the unit retreat out of the map uh, before a new one can show up. So what do we mean by that is that these siege weapons will not be used and we'll just tell them to redraw because they'd be too slow to move them up anyways. So we're going to just tell them to leave and that way other units, potentially generals, like Chen Pu is not here for it right now because we maxed out our uh, unit card slots. So we're going to ask him to leave and once they leave the battlefield, there will be free space for new units to show up. And Chen Pu should have one of our patients. So we just need all these generals to have a party over here. This cavalry group will be in reserve here. They're gone. Why, is, why are we not getting any reinforcement? Oh, they're not gone yet. They're off the map, but they're not like gone, gone. Yeah, it's going to take them too long to get into position, so we're going to wait for Chempo to show up before we engage the enemy, who I bet just is confused and doesn't see us. We'll have him go scout for us, because he's invincible. Come on, Chempo. Show up. Do we have to retreat more units? Because I will. We have less than 42 right now. 7, 14, 21... Uh, 28. We're, yeah, we're really far away from... Oh. 
They're about shooting less. Uh, decline, actually. We have no interest in doing that. We just want them to head over. Oh, they're, they're moving over. Okay. Mm. Maybe we'll free up some more units so that they can come. Who should leave the battlefield? I guess it would just be this group. Alright, we'll tell them to leave. Oh, they both have a bow. Okay, finish your bow. Shoot me. Come on, Chenpu. I mean, we probably don't need him. We have one patience, two patience, three patience, four patience, five patience, six patience. That's 150%. No. There we go. Chenpu is here. Alright, come join us. Also, the exemplar bonus is applied. I really don't care about his units, but they're here anyways. They should all show up. We sent a bunch of people packing. There we go. Alright. Um, we're going to spare us. Now we can focus on destroying them. Let's see, how should we do it? Run down the archers, and then we're probably going to use the cavalry to kill the generals quickly and efficiently. Um, take down the cav. That's a duel I will take. Uh, no. Sun Tse will take you if you want. All right, I need I need I need him to go out to apply his bonuses. All right, good. Stay on the archers. Go health arrow the. These are what defender of infantry is in. He has the upgraded one, I believe. Doesn't he? Imperial defenders, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot those. Alright, just move to the side. I gotta watch his health, he died multiple times doing this. Oh, Tremple's done! Okay, let's get him out of there. Alright, Sun Tzu is done too. Stay on archers. They have too many spear units, so we're gonna pull our generals back. Now, our axemen are perfect counters to spear. Might as well charge them up. There's no threats coming from anywhere. And we'll do make short work of the enemy. Once they engage us, we can rear charge them as well. Roar. I want to hit the sword, but I don't want to run into this turtle formation. Okay, let's see if we can close in on these guys. Stop firing. Killing too many of our own troops now. Actually, just charge in. Oh, he's back. Just leave, old man. Alright, right, spare him, spare him, spare him. He's gonna route. Yeah, he's gonna route. There we go. Let's see how many of these men we capture here. Alrighty. Let's see how our careful planning has turned out here. Uh, no capture? Really? Nothing? 
They said they fixed patients, but uh, it's not working. All that planning. I guess we just turn this army around on him then. Hmm. That's a bummer. I mean, we didn't lose them. They still have territory. They can summon themselves out again. And we can try that again. But not even to capture them with this many patience officers is really not happy with this. 25% chance of capturing any officers post-battle. Right? And this stacks, so... <sighs> oh, well. Large regional city with a military infrastructure? No, no military infrastructure. I don't want it, though. I'll take his food, make him starve. Alright, we'll head towards here. That's his movement with, with reach, though, so he probably doesn't have that much movement, actually. Actually, if patience thing didn't work out, they can go back. I mean, they're on. Alright, that's good. Let's uh, use the money to build then. Disappointed, but what can you do? So I think logically we take this first and then go for his uh, farmland. Take a peek. Did he move his army back? No, but he summoned a new one. He has another full stack here. So they do have um, administrative off uh, military infrastructure, which is why they think we'll lose this fight. Really, these units get no respect in delegate value. I mean, they're injured, but like this unit alone can wipe this out. So they have administrator plus military infrastructure plus a garrison plus two siege weapons. All right, uh, we're gonna fight this. Uh, but I think I'm probably going to cut it out. It's going to be a very slow and steady siege. We're just going to, you know, grind them down with our siege weapons and our, you know, longer range uh, Onyx Dragons. So just going to see you guys at the end here. Alrighty. So in this battle, we capture someone. Uh, she's a rank 4 Sentinel female. We could just take her, uh, but she can't be employed. But, like, we could just recruit two of these from the pool if we see them in the future, if we really need that mission finished. He's also a bandit. Alright, Ling's right over there. So, staying inside garrisons is pretty much a death trap. What we're going to do instead is just pull them a little bit out so that we have the retreat option. Definitely doesn't need this to be a large city right now. Also, don't eat that. Alright, that's fine. Um, Alright, we're gonna go to war with Cao Cao, finish up uh, Yuan Shu. Cao Cao doesn't have that much territory. Yeah, so, and then we'll, we'll turn our attention west and maybe southwest a little bit. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with us and Lü Bu. This is also a questionable situation. Maybe we can liberate our uncle from his grasp, but I think our uncle's pretty happy going under him right now. All right, we'll grab that next turn. We'll just get all our building done right now. Over here, we want this build. We want this build. All right, definitely want that adjacency. This can wait. Nothing is too urgent here. Uh, it's about time to go tall. Yeah, I think we have enough money. We're just going to make sure there's nothing else that's more important. Like, for example, here we need corruption reduction going. We do have two build slots. But I actually don't have the money to focus on building those yet. Yeah, we're going to spend all the money on State Workshop pretty much everywhere. 
Yeah, I need more money. Alright, so that's our uh, limit of our fund. 43 gold left. Uh, we do have shared expertise available again. We maybe can push him. Oh, we could have done this first. That way we got the extra discount. Oh, we might go back and cancel everything and redo everything. All right, anyways, shared expertise. Let's push him to rank. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, no, it is enough. It just didn't pop up the purple icon fast enough. All right, so he's rank 8. We can get him more melee attack rate. Or we can just give him more charge bonus on his retinue as well. He doesn't have a retinue right now. That's the thing. Gorilla deployment is also good. I think this is the best one for him right now. Now he can feel comfortable dueling people. But I would prefer if he gets a better weapon. Try to get him a gold weapon. Alright. So now if we go back into court. The bonus is minus 15% construction time. Also minus 3 turns. So everything that we added or quarter in this turn... Well, that's a conversion, so we don't need to cancel that. But stuff like this, we need to redo. It'll be faster and cheaper. Mm, this wasn't this turn. This also wasn't this turn. This is this turn. This goes to one turn instead of three turn. Alright, and then we have 903 instead of 43. And we can actually build something else. I guess it just have to be you. Alright, we'll take that. And uh, just take, keep an eye out for potential spy cases. Okay, it's Hall's Hall's faction. We might actually save some money next turn to do uh, get to turncoats in other factions. She's very cheap, but she's very, she's very angry. Like, she's probably going to leave the court. This is a good opportunity. Alright, aside from that, I don't think we need to do much. Yeah, like we can recruit her for a quick mission pop if we really had like two female sentinels ready. Okay, I think we're good. Let's uh, continue here. Wow. So in Chinese, he just said, this is your last chance. This is his last chance. Literally grasping at straws here. He has one full stack. We know that. We see it. Uh, it's controlled by Ziling. Uh, do we want to end him or do we want him to suffer in a farmland by himself? Let's just end him. Alright. Liu Bu requests Gong Sun Zan to join their war. Li Ying has died. Okay. Gao Ding Jin Xuan. Jin Xuan. Sky Out of Gold. He. Is, I think in Romance of the Three Kingdom, he was the administrator of. I want to say Changsha. But in the Romance, he gets killed on. Uh, Liu Bei's uh, campaign to take the four commanderies in the south. Alright, we'll be taking this land uh, so that we can also heal here. This is pretty much free. This should also put a huge strain on Cao Cao's food supplies. Alright, I'm gonna send this army back over here because we see Liu Bao has once again recruited himself and Gan Ning, who we really want to join us. You know, we want him to join. He's the one I want the most. So we're gonna head back. We'll we'll leave Sun Ce here to deal with Cao Cao if he comes to attack us. And then we're gonna send him out to spy a little bit for us. Little bit of scouting for this army. Oh, he's 
Oh, he's he's on our side. That's not good. And they can't reach. And they can't reach because they're blocking. Hmm. Well, Yuan Shu gets to live for one more turn. I believe we can heal on our military access land. So we can actually stand here. No, we can't heal on military access land, but that's fine. Uh, but if that's the case, we might as well stand here. Luo Jun and Zhang Zhao has developed some personality issues. Oh, Zhang, yeah, Zhang, oh, Zhang Hong, not Zhang Zhao, because of understanding. Okay, that's fine. We got an overseer. Oh, that's a wonderful item. That is a wonderful item. Do we have any... We don't have any strategists leading armies, though. Because that's the ideal place to put the overseer. I mean, we could have a strategist lead an army very soon. We can just give one of them reach. Maybe him. But no, uh, he can't. Because he needs to be... Holding the concubine for us. Yeah, maybe we'll get Zhang Hong to rank 5. 11,000. I'm not sure... He's not on, oh, He's not in court. Right, that's out of the question then. Hmm. Let's get this bonus out then. Rank 8 bonus. I don't think this rank 5 bonus matters that much. Recruitment cost is not that useful. Not enough. Alright, close, but not enough. Probably gonna have to march them away. Back towards the farmland here. Alright. We'll see what he does. He can come fight us if you want. But I don't think that's a smart idea for him. Yeah, we're pretty much wrapping up with the western part of the central plains. Alright, two builds here. Let's see, we want commerce income. We, I mean, this is one of those like where we're not going to build corruption reduction in the commandery and we're just going to use the surrounding ones to give us the benefits hmm actually let's do that all right now's time Mm, I regret it. I want them to have another slot so we can build state workshop, but then we have these that have a state workshop ready that's not upgraded to the right tier of the state workshop. So let's get these done first. Ah, ran out of cash again. All right, Nanyang needs a private workshop. We can probably get rid of this and build a marketplace. No, no, we don't need a marketplace. Probably a forge. Yeah, probably a forge. Uh, but we're going to keep it for now because we still need to do this first. Waiting for rebellion here. Um, Xiangyang is going to, however, get a marketplace if we have cash, which we don't. Uh, just not enough money. Yeah, money is a big issue. Well, let's just continue for now. Uh, we are making 6,000 turns. Just we got so many commanderies to build. So let's continue. All right, Cao Cao peaced out with Liu Bao. Uh, common enemies. Yeah, we're, we're the, both their common enemies. All right, champion leather. That's not bad. Han Dong can wear that. Han Dong's the poor, poor man out. Jiang Qin, Han Dong both can use a, you know, some cosmetic help to make them stand out. She finally leveled up once. We're headed towards Poison Volley. So, 
Going for that. Gonna run them over here. Now we're gonna end our episode by ending Yuan Shu's faction. <sighs> of course, we'll be here for the show. We're not gonna miss it to personally destroy our vassal master. We're probably gonna have. Yeah, we'll have them siege, so the siege weapons are in the place. I'm gonna run Zhou Tai over here as well. Just, you know, more the merrier. We'll let our, our little brothers see how we do business. Alrighty. Uh, second big fight of the game. Hopefully we get a little better luck with capture percentages here, but I'm not going to dream about it. You know, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. We don't need these generals. We have enough of our own Wu generals anyways. Um, hmm, actually, let's do a little different setup. I don't know if they have any cavalry. They might. Yeah, it might not be smart to stretch our line out this wide, but that's fine. Yeah, we'll double stack that. It's okay. Fifteen percent. See, the range block chance helped them a lot. Because now their spear wall is really good. It's 85%. We're going to need cavalry help, but we'll get that somehow later. Holy just need one right here. I still think they're going to loop from behind, so I'm going to do that. Oh, we might not need cavalry help. Do they only have one cavalry? I'll activate it. So he stopped fatiguing right away. Uh, Strategist can just loop over here. They're the only cavalry in this fight. We're probably not going to be able to get very far with these siege weapons. We're just going to put them here and see if they can get a few shots in from the flank. And yeah, that's it. We're going to leave these alone now. Once again, Chen Pu can't arrive on the map, which is actually a big loss. You know what, little brother? You can go speed up our siege weapons because he actually has the speed up ability. Go solo the enemy cavalry. Oh, they have a lot of men. The last stand of Yuan Shu. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not here to fight you guys. Oh, someone got him? Please tell me we're still on our horse. That's all I need to know. Okay. Alright, the siege weapons have started. I'm just here to kill some cavalry. See the who? Oh, Fu Chi. He's level 4, so he has a layer of resiliency. I wonder if the game gave him fondness for us. Let's see if we can recruit him at the end. Look at us charging in, tearing them apart. Come 
Come on, movement plus 25% speed. Move faster. <laughs> Our brother's contributing the best he can. Uh, my job is to actually kill them, not to kill you, Zili. Goodbye. Especially the, the the melee ones. These will die to archers. Like Onyx Dragon is gonna shred them. Uh, nope. Let's just turn off dueling. It's not what we're here for. Those spikes might actually come in handy. Keep chasing. Actually, can we take Jiling off the battlefield? Uh, if he charges, if any of the general charges us, we'll, we'll, we'll duel with Luo Jun. Yeah, these guys aren't just going to be in range. We'll send them at the archers. Try to flank. Uh, it's so nice when your melee calves have like 300 charge. Actually, we can just go after our jobs to go after range units. And then our shot cav have 573 charge. Alright, can't charge with them. Their job is just to clean up all the archers. So these guys can run wherever they want. Alright, the center of the formation is fine. We'll move him back. Alright, charge at them. Pick off the other archer, please. Watch their health evaporate. Alright, they're gone. Alright, we'll loop from behind their formation, give them a rear charge. Come back. Wow, this is a death trap. Crossfire death trap right here in the middle. Alright, kill the, kill the general. That's what our cavalry is best at. Oh, they're routing. Is she unbreakable? Alright, she's dead. Let's see how fast she dies. 19.17k. She was a 19k. 14k. Our archers are killing ourselves, but it's okay. She's almost dead. She's trying to run away. I don't even want to click again. I think he's... We can kill her, just... Someone, someone touch her. There we go. We win. Alrighty, Trempo didn't even make a showing. Alrighty, we really should organize the army so that Trempo is in the second slot and Joel Yu is in the third slot, because his retinue is actually least useful. All right, we did capture him. Good. So the capture percentage worked here. Uh, doesn't mean they'll work for us. Ooh, rescue from the grass of uh, Yuan Shu's faction. That's a weapon that Zhou Tai could enjoy. Or maybe Huang Gai. One of our vanguards could use it. And the Duchy of Zhong is destroyed. And with that, we can end our episode. Um, we are making it a tear through the Central Plains. Uh, Cao Cao doesn't hate us. Liu Bao absolutely hate us. I mean, understandable. 
And what we're going to do next is turn our attentions west a little bit. I am not that interested in actually capturing the Emperor from Cao Cao. That's just going to give us more issues because we can no longer attack the Ha Empire. We're going to turn our attention west, capture the Shu region next, because they're actually at war with us, even though we don't see them. And I'm interested in quite a few of the territory. And then we can work our way north to get Silk, and south to get Spice. And then we can finally turn on the Shu family as well. And then the rest of the map, you know, a bunch of strong factions squeeze into this little land mass so that none of them can actually fully develop. And will we engulf the south? So things are looking great. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and see y'all next time. Bye.